Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Salt and Light. It's been a little while since I put a, a video out. I've been working really hard uh, to get Salt and Light uh, progress as far as I can. Uh, whilst the weather has been nice, uh, while we're going through the uh, spring, summer, uh, autumn months, uh, before winter comes. Uh, winter's a really difficult time to try and work, uh, so I've been trying to get as much done. I had a TV crew from uh, Tokyo uh, come and do some filming uh, for one of their shows, and I was showing the footage uh, to a friend of mine recently, and I was, I was, I was quite surprised uh, when I look back at where I was in April uh, to where I am now, and, and I went, wow, that's, that's amazing. Uh, so this is where I was in April. Uh, the side panels, uh, outer side panels weren't on, uh, chain plates weren't on, radius chines weren't on, uh, and here we are today. And you can see quite a, a lot of progress has taken place, uh, which I'm really happy about. A good friend of mine uh, said to me uh, when I told him I was building a boat, now he's been in the sailing community for a long time and he's a, he's a good mate. Uh, and he, I, I told him, I said, I'm building a boat. He said, I will say goodbye to the rest of your life. Uh, I know what he means. Uh, there's a lot of projects, a lot of boat projects get started and for whatever reason, uh, unable to finish. Well, I'm not one of those. I need to finish and not only do I need to finish, but I need to finish within a time frame. Uh, you may not be aware, but I have this building uh, leased uh, for three years and with an option of extending for one more year. So I've only got this building for a limited amount of time. And so I need to make sure that it's progressing uh, and, and it doesn't stall, it just keeps moving on. Uh, and so, that hence uh, I've been working uh, yeah, 10 to 12 hours a day, uh, five to six days a week uh, on this, trying to uh, move this along. And of course, well, that, that just means that uh, yeah, putting time into videos is, is a little bit more uh, difficult. Uh, but I have been filming and recording and documenting what I've been doing. Uh, so I have plenty of footage and I uh, will be pushing them out uh, just as I have time to do them. So stay with us and I hope you enjoy uh, this video. So in this video we're going to look at uh, the beginning stages of building the bridge deck, uh, building the structure that's going to support uh, the bridge deck, the three uh, beams that will run the length of the bridge deck, uh, the three stiffening beams that will uh, give that uh, bridge deck uh, strength and stiffness, and uh, get that on the way, and also look at getting uh, the first layer of uh, the bridge deck plywood uh, up onto those beams. So you can see here, this is the detail uh, for the bridge deck uh, stiffening beams. So I start off by uh, ripping down uh, some hardwood uh, timber, which is um, Tassie oak, uh, is the timber I'm using, and these will form uh, the bottom uh, pieces of the bridge deck uh, beams. And then just using a protractor, I, uh, I work out the angle uh, that I need to cut the timber uh, to create that joint. And in order to, uh, to be able to glue these up 
um, really well and to uh, keep them as flat as possible I actually made up a uh, quite a long platform about nine meter long platform um, that is completely flat uh, and that way have the best uh, possibility of um, creating these beams and keeping them as flat and as straight as possible while I'm gluing them together. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to sand these up and get some uh, three coats of epoxy onto these because uh, we're going to use these in setting up the structure tomorrow. It's better to try and do that now uh, while they're uh, in this position rather than trying to do it upside down so uh, work a little bit uh, smarter not uh, harder. Uh, so I'll just get these um, sanded up and uh, get some epoxy on them today, uh, let them dry and then tomorrow they'll be right to be uh, used. Uh, to be um, put into the structure of the bridge deck. And as part of fixing the bridge deck to the hulls, uh, there's a uh, cedar cleat uh, that gets uh, screwed onto the sides of the hull. So uh, I'm just doing that now. I'm uh, gluing that on with epoxy resin.
So to begin with, I built a really simple uh, structure just to support the beams. Then of course, as uh, so often happens, um, when I needed to move the beams, uh, we had about half a dozen guys uh, come to visit. Totally unexpected, actually. Uh, so I put them to work and uh, we got the beams uh, onto the structure. And obviously there's a lot more reinforcement required uh, to support the bridge deck. I actually bought these uh, four meter lengths of metal uh, plank uh, and I was putting them between the beams uh, just to help support the bridge deck once I got the plywood up there. Before I could start gluing up uh, all of the uh, plywood sections, uh, which had to go, had to be all glued together as one big sheet, um, I had to move the press away from the bridge deck so I could get a bit more um, length between the press and the bridge deck, as you'll see in a minute, um, how uh, it had to bend up onto the floor. So at this stage I've got all of the sheets uh, glued together and ready to get it up onto the bridge deck.
All right, now that I've got the, um, the panel uh, up, onto, uh, up onto this uh, bridge deck structure, uh, the support structure, uh, now I can move it around. I've got some PVC pipe underneath it. I can, I can now move it around fairly easily. I'm just going to slide it into position and uh, just to check to make sure how it fits. Uh, I may need to trim up against the hull a little bit more as I push it in and we can mark it up and uh, get it fitting really nice against the side of the hull. Oh, I was kicking myself because we um, I had some cameras uh, set up ready to go to film the gluing down of the of the panels and stupid me just forgot to press record. Uh, so uh, yeah we unfortunately missed uh, the first part of it but um, yeah this is the panels um, glued down just putting the final screws in now. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay with us. There is plenty of content to come and we will see you in the next video.